just not very good right now. And we gotta be better. We had a game plan as, he, as if he was playing this morning and didn't know that he wasn't playing until 30 minutes on the clock. So we had to switch our whole game plan, which kind of, you know, was just tough, you know, an adjustment period, but we still have to, you know, be better than that. Oh yeah, I feel like we lost five out of seven now. We feel like that. Yeah, we gotta figure it out. It's been a it's been 2017 so far. Frustration boiling over after losing for the fifth time in the last seven games for LeBron and the Cavs. In fact, he also said off camera, we need a blanking playmaker. Yeah, that's what he said he needed. But today on Twitter, feeling the need to clarify because some maybe took that to be a shot at the Cavs general manager, Dave Griffin. LeBron saying, I'm not mad or upset at management because Griff and staff have done a great job. I just feel we still need to improve in order to repeat. LeBron continued, if that's what we want to do. This is a team that spent a record amount of money on its payroll. We'll be spending even more of a record on its luxury tax. Let's bring in Greg Anthony, who will be on the fan night broadcast tonight with Matt Weiner and Kevin McHale. GA. Jared. All right, so we have no reason not to believe LeBron that it wasn't a shot at management or ownership. Mm -hmm. Let's take him for his word there. But what happened to all in in Cleveland? If, if you are guy number four through 15 on this roster, how do you feel about LeBron saying we're top heavy and we need help ASAP? Um, I wouldn't be that concerned with it because I think all those guys four through 15 know what kind of teammate he is based on what they've experienced within the last couple of years. Secondly, a lot of what he's talking about is just pure frustration. You know, playmaker to me doesn't seem to be the issue. When you look at their last three losses, they gave up 126, 124, 118. So I don't think their offense was the issue. Their inability to defend has been the issue for them. And I think there is sometimes a hangover and a lack of motivation. This is not a team built for the regular season. They just aren't because ultimately all that matters to them is about what happens in the postseason. And the way that this team's constructed, not like a Golden State, that has so much firepower, they're going to just win games based on talent alone. San Antonio, that system and that structure has been there forever. They're going to win a lot of regular season games. This team's about the postseason, so that frustration can boil over, as we saw last year, yep. Jared, with the same kind of issues before they got to the All-Star break. It was just two days ago that we didn't celebrate, but with the year anniversary of David Blatt getting fired when they were 30 and 11. <laughs> Let's play off what you're talking about, built for the playoffs, not for the regular season. All right, LeBron. Six straight trips to the finals. This was supposed to be the year that they limit his minutes. They can't win when he doesn't play. They have yet to win a game when he rests. And LeBron now is leading the league in minutes per game. So is the true source of LeBron's frustration about beating Golden State potentially in the finals or finding a playmaker that can help lighten the load until May or June? Well, I think they could lighten the load. The, the minutes issue is that's something they can address within what they're doing. Who handles the ball, though? Well, him or Kyrie? They, well, Kyrie can handle it. They can stagger their lineup. There are a lot of things that they can do in order to buy minutes. In essence, what I call middle relief, right? You need guys that can get the minutes. Now, keep in mind, they don't have J.R. Smith, mm -hmm. which that, that's a huge and a significant loss for them. And they're also trying to integrate a new guy in Kyle Korver. And, and Kyle Korver, because of who he is and how he plays, he's not just a guy that you sit out on in a corner. He's running off a lot of screens, so they have to incorporate a lot of new systems, a lot, a lot, a lot of new sets sure. for him that everybody's got to learn. So there is a, a, a period of time it's going to take for that group to kind of figure some things out. I think they're going to be fine, but this also does give you a sense of urgency in the locker room by him coming out and holding people accountable. And having said that, LeBron's got to play better. I know he had a triple-double last night, but he didn't play particularly well early in that game. And I think he's got to do more within the minutes, even if they limit them, in order for this team to win. And in a lot of ways, we kind of see why, why many people still feel he's the, the real MVP of the league because he has as much weight for any in terms of what it, it, it means to his team and how they ultimately are going to be judged as anybody in our league. Well, uh, he has said that he has spoken to David Griffin. This is not the first time last night yeah. that he's mentioned needing a, a, a ball handler, a playmaker. In fact, he did it the day they got Kyle Korver. So let, let, let's safely assume that the Cavs management is now on the search if they haven't started already for a backup guard. Do you think the route to go, which has been long rumored, one of these guards that gets healthy, Mario Chalmers or Jared Jack, maybe a Nate Robinson, or David Griffin gets real creative and tries to swing a deal for a guy like Rondo or a Darren Williams who was rumored today? 
Um, I, I don't see that one on the horizon. I, I think it's it, it potentially could be like one of the guys that you're talking about that's been rehabbing that could come in. They need somebody to eat up minutes. I don't think they want to make mess with the, the real structure of their lineup because they got a lot of guys out there that are going to be important to them in playoff series. Yeah. A lot of this, to me, again, I go back, they're trying to get to the finish line, which is We're not talking about season. a guy that's going to make an impact in Game 7 of the Finals. No. Well, you, you're right now they need guys to help them get through the regular season. Right. Right. And then secondly, the one advantage of playing with Kevin and Kyrie and LeBron when you do get in the postseason, if you get somebody that comes into a game and scores six or seven points or comes up with a key steal or a key rebound, that could be the difference in winning and losing a game. So they don't need guys coming in and getting 30 a night. They don't need that kind of an impact. They need guys that can come and play within what they do for, you know, 8, 12, 16 minutes a game.